Hey guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to make these chevron banner stickers and this is so easy I kind of was hesitant to make this tutorial but I thought uh, why not. So first you will need some scrap paper of any kind and then you will also need some washi tape of your choice. Next you will need a Xyron sticker maker and if you don't have one that's okay you could also use tape or glue and then a pair of scissors of course. And lastly, you will need this EK Tools Edge Punch that I bought at Michael's. So first, I'm just going to cut a strip of paper and just measuring it to make sure that it fits right under that punch there. And then taking a washi of my choice, I'm going to place a strip down on that piece of scrap paper that I just cut. Then all you have to do is place that strip into the punch and punch it. So after you punch it, it should yield three pieces as you see there. For the chevron piece, you will have to cut that out with your scissors. And that's basically it. You can repeat this process with different washi tape so that you can get a variety of colors. This is a very inexpensive way of making your own banner stickers and the good thing is if you run out of one color, you could always make more. You could also find these banner stickers on Etsy shops but if you are on a budget, I think this is a great alternative. And you could always use the same idea on other punches with different shapes. I will put a link in the description box of where you can find this punch online in case your local Michaels do not have it. So after you are done, you will take your Xyron sticker maker and just put in like maybe four or five depending on how you squeeze it in there. Now I took out the Zaran refills because I think that it's a little easier to work with and I got this idea from my friend Stacy so thank you Stacy. And then when you're done putting them in you will just pull it through and that's it you're finished. They don't fit in the planner boxes exactly so you will have to trim them down just a little bit. Here's another example of how I used it in my planner. Here are some other colors that I've made. I hope you guys enjoyed this very easy DIY and if you did like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for more videos. I will see you guys next time.